How's it going guys? It's Baba Ganesh here again. It's great seeing you as always. I have a very special gear review here for you today. It's a piece of equipment that I was able to borrow from work. Um, you know, something that I was very impressed with, something that I would love to own myself, and something that is considered at the very top of its class uh, for, it, for the market that it's in. So, why don't we go ahead and find out what it is, guys. So, here's my official review on the Marmot Plasma 30 degree sleeping bag. Let's go ahead and take a look. So okay guys, here's my review of the Marmot Plasma 30 degree sleeping bag. Uh, again, I was able to borrow this from work and just testing it around here at home, you know, that's where the air conditioner really comes in handy. Uh, you know, I have to say, I'm pretty impressed with it. Um, you know, I'll talk about some of the features, what my personal opinion is about it, and everything like that as well. Um, but if you know this particular sleeping bag, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's considered one of the top-selling, top-rated sleeping bags in its class. Um, you know, this is something that Appalachian Trail thru-hikers absolutely love. And it's something that I would love to add to my pack sometime in the future. So, alright guys. So, Marmot Plasma 30 degree sleeping bag. This one here is an 875 fill down sleeping bag. It is a treated down as well, so it's going to give you some really nice resistance to condensation and moisture and things like that. Um, it has a really nice lightweight ripstop nylon uh, for the material you'll use for the sleeping bag as well. And with the vertical baffle system, the enclosed hood, and everything like that as well, it's considered extremely, extremely efficient. Now, 875 filled down. You don't really see that on the market a whole lot nowadays. You'll typically see about 550 or 600, 650. Um, you know, my REI Igneo sleeping bag is a 700 filled bag. So 875 is definitely, is definitely nice and precious, I'll tell you guys that much. The lightweight capabilities that this provides for you as well. This is the regular size sleeping bag. It comes in at one pound to eight ounces and retails for $579. It also does come in the long version, which comes in at one pound ten ounces and comes in at $599. So obviously pretty high price point, however, really nicely low in weight. So if you're looking for a great three season sleeping bag or something to be good for kind of uh, fall or spring weather, early spring weather, this could be a really great viable option for you. So again, really nice and lightweight, compressible like you would not believe. I got to tell you guys, I'm pretty impressed with this thing. Let me go ahead and open it up so you guys can take a look at it and we can talk about some of the features that you're going to get with it as well. Okay guys, I got it all opened up here. So right off the bat, the thing that you probably noticed is that it's a vertical baffle system. A lot of times you see nowadays it's all a horizontal baffle system. Uh, not a huge difference between the two. A couple of things that I've noticed is that I feel like the vertical baffle system, because you're able to get more narrow channels, you actually might get a little better efficiency uh, out of the insulation in there because it's so tightly knit. And therefore, when it tries to loft itself, it just fills in all the little nooks and crannies. Uh, so that's something definitely I do like. It's a fully wrapped uh, foot box and everything as well. Really nice and warm. Trying it out this week, my feet kept on sweating every time I popped it in there. Um, now, one thing I will say about the vertical baffle system. Um, now, they say on the Marmot website that it's intended to hold the insulation in its place so that it doesn't drift anywhere. I've actually noticed uh, that it's been drifting quite a bit on me. Um, you know, because they are so long, it creates a channel to which the insulation being compacted or compressed and then opened up again. I've just noted it does shift around the insulation a little bit. Not so substantially to where I'm really worried about it, but it's enough to where I do notice it. So coming on down to the hood here real quick. You'll notice right away, obviously, it is the full mummy shape. It has a really nice hood to it, really nice, nicely insulated up on top. It has a full draft collar around your face, so you can really squeeze things in, tighten things down, uh, keep your face and your body nice and warmed, as well as prevent drafts from coming down into the bag and cooling yourself down. It does have, of course, all the uh, cinch cords 
all the shock cords and everything along the side here so you can tighten up that face mask and really tighten up the hood. Uh, really trap yourself inside there and get the best efficiency out of the sleeping bag itself. You do have a left side zipper along here with a pretty decent zipper guard. Uh, I haven't had any, I really haven't had too many issues with snagging while opening it up or anything. Um, obviously it, every, it is very thin and lightweight so you do have to be careful with any, uh, with any zipper snags. Uh, just so you don't tear the material up and everything, but you know I, you know the hood is really really nice and insulated. It's almost like a pillow inside there. Um, just a really nice overall, just some really good engineering that they put into this. So let me go ahead and open it up and show you uh, so so you guys can take a look at uh, the interior and everything. Okay, so now I have it opened up. You can take a look. As you can see what I mean, inside the hood, it's so well insulated. I mean, your head is going to stay warm like you wouldn't believe in this thing. Coming on down, you do have a pretty nice, uh, it's a pretty nice lightweight, but really, uh, really effective uh, draft collar sitting there as well. You do have a cinch cord over here on the draft collar to tighten it up around your shoulders. And you even have button snaps down here in the corner to where when you close the sleeping bag, you can actually button those down and really tighten things in around your shoulders to prevent any drafts in there uh, and to keep you really nice and warm on the interior. So as you can see here, they have, um, they have about a half to three quarter of an inch zipper guard to keep that nice lightweight capability there, but still, still provide some protection so you don't snag your zipper on, on it or anything. On the interior here, of course, they are going to give you the 875 fill, talking about the down defender, uh, so it's water resistant. And of course, they have the temperature rating marking sitting right there. And last but not least, the serial number for the down uh, that comes along with the sleeping bag as well. You know, you know, a really nice, vibrant green color. It's a pretty cool color design. I do know that the 15 degree uh, comes with a blue inner lining to it, but I kind of like the green. It almost mimics my REI Igneo sleeping bag with the green interior as well. So, okay, guys, you know, talking about talking about the features and everything, going over what to expect if you do decide to get the sleeping bag. You know, let me uh, let me go ahead and talk about some of the things that I've noticed it with it, uh, some of the pros and cons and everything as well. So, okay, guys, you know, definitely pretty impressive sleeping bag. It's a great design to it as well. It has a really nice look to it. Um, and, and the experience that I've had with it, testing it out over the last week, um, it definitely it definitely lives up to its billing, lives up to its reputation. So, with that, obviously, there's always pros and cons when it comes to any piece of equipment, and it really comes down to the individual person. Everybody has their own style, their own way of doing things, and their own kind of comfort level as well. So for my own comfort level, what I've experienced with it and what my pros and cons with it are, are as goes as this. So some of the positives. Obviously, lightweight, check. Coming in at about a pound and a half, awesome. Uh, compressibility, check, double check on that one. You can compress this thing down to next to nothing. Uh, they were saying that you can compress this down to about a, a three liter stuff sack size. Um, so pretty, pretty impressive in that regard. Um, definitely, definitely with the hood design, uh, with the draft collar and everything like that as well. Extremely, extremely efficient, extremely warm, uh, a very great performing sleeping bag the way you can really tighten up around the hood, tighten up around your shoulders and truly trap your body heat in there to have a nice, warm, comfortable sleep, uh, in temperatures between 30 and 40 degrees. Uh, I also do like the fact that it is a treated down as well. Uh, you'll see a lot of companies are moving in that direction now. I honestly would probably say about 95% of all down bags on the market today are all treated. Um, and that's really what people are looking for. In my own experience, dealing with tons of moisture in the air, condensation and stuff like that, the treated down bags perform beautifully. I've had no problem with the down clumping at all. Um, and I've, you know, last winter I had some days where, yeah, it warmed up with the snow on the ground and literally the moisture was just sticking to everything. And yet the sleeping bag was essentially, uh, basically unaffected by it completely. So definitely the treated down is spectacular. With all pieces of equipment, of course, there's always negatives, uh, when it comes to, again, per person and a couple of negatives that I, that I saw for myself. One, 
it isn't a very large sleeping bag. Uh, certainly the lengthwise and everything is standard uh, in regards to the market. However, when it comes to the dimensions, I'm talking in the shoulder and the hip area, it is a pretty narrow sleeping bag. Uh, even for myself, you know, and I, I'm a skinny bastard, I'm 155 pounds, I don't need something that has a whole lot of elbow room. But even in this one right here, you know, I was kind of wishing that I did. My REI Igneo, it does have some extra elbow room, so I can actually, you know, maneuver around a little bit, but still not have any wasted space. With this one, I, do, I did feel a little bit confined. Uh, certainly, if you don't mind that, you know, it's a great sleeping bag, something I would absolutely look, take a, uh, recommend taking a look into. If you're someone with a little bit more of a wider frame, or you're like myself who wants a little bit of extra comfort to go along with the temperature, uh, you know, definitely it might not be the right one for you. Definitely stop into the store, um, you know, or take a look at it, you know, check the dimensions and see what's going to work. But I found that it was just a little bit narrow. Um, Really, that was that was the biggest con, um, you know, the biggest negative against it, and that's really not a huge issue. Again, everybody has their own comfort level, so something that's a little bit smaller might work great for other people. Just not really, not really my cup of tea, um, you know. And if that's really the only negative against it, this is a great sleeping bag. Um, so, okay, guys, I guess that concludes my review of the Marmot Plasma 30 degree sleeping bag. It was a real pleasure and a treat to be able to test this thing out throughout the week. Uh, I find it really cool that they allow us to borrow uh, some piece of equipment that they set aside, uh, kind of uh, test the thing out, uh, and give our opinions about the equipment as well, as well as it gives us the opportunity to have first-hand knowledge and first-hand experience about the equipment. Um, and as far as, you know, with my, my job, um, as well as, you know, my hobby doing this, it definitely goes a long way. So... Thank you guys so much again for following along in another great gear review video. I was, again, so happy to be able to test this thing out throughout the week. Uh, this is, oh my goodness, I can't even tell. This is, I'm like a kid at a candy store when I'm holding this thing. It's great. Uh, big news as well. This weekend, it is my 29th birthday. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Uh, and, of course, uh, what else do you think I'm going to be doing? I'm going on a backpacking trip this weekend, guys. Columbus Day weekend, October 8th is my birthday. I'm going to be up in New York State with uh, Hot Feet. He'll be along with me on this trip. We're going to get some good backpacking in. I'm going to get you guys some great footage, some great shots and everything. Um, and it's been kind of nice as well with the holidays coming around. Uh, I've been finding a little bit more time to actually be doing some videos. Uh, with the new DC store opening up soon, they've been working, on, working me like a madman. And I've been feeling kind of bad. I've been neglecting you guys a little bit. So it's been nice to get back in front of the camera, give you guys some good reviews, and hopefully some good information, um, you know, on pieces of equipment that you hope to get in the future as well. So again, this weekend, stay tuned. I have another backpacking trip. Uh, I have some more gear review videos coming up for you guys. And you know what? It's nice, cool weather. We got fall coming up. I got some winter stuff uh, in store for you as well. So thanks again, guys. Great seeing you as always. I'll see you on the next video. I'll see you guys in just a few days. Talk to you soon, and as always, Baba Ganoush out. How's it going guys, Baba Ganoush here. I hope you liked that video. Definitely feel free to subscribe for more content. Uh, check the links in the description below, and always feel free to like, comment, and share. Ask me any questions that you guys might have. I'm always here to help you guys out. Talk to you guys soon. Baba Ganoush out.